Hello everyone. So I welcome you all for my today's session. So in this session, uh, we'll cover the banquet topic, which is one of the imperative topic for your upcoming semester, and in fact, uh, the first topic for your incoming semester. So let's start the topic. So before starting of the topic, let's discuss the learning objectives, but all the things which we will cover in this topic, and then after that, uh, what what will be the learning outcomes, right? So in this topic, we'll uh, we'll cover the what is what is the definition of the banquet. Okay, so we'll make you understand what is the basic uh, basic uh, definition of the banquet. Then uh, what is the importance of the banquets in food and beverage service department? And then after that, we'll uh, discuss about the banquet event booking cycle, then different types of the banquet setups, then what is the importance of the uh, banquet event order or the function doc prospectus or that document which is the backbone of the entire operation or entire uh, outlet, then after that controlling procedure of the staffing. So these are the learning objectives, then after that we will, uh, what all the things which uh, we expect from you after covering this topic. So you will be able to tell that what are the what is the banquet and okay what are the different uh, reservation factors which you need to keep in mind while you do the reservation in the banquets then you will be able to uh, construct a function prospectus or the banquet event order or you will be able to calculate the space calculation which is required for the placement of the different set setup so uh, normally i mean we'll we'll cover all the theoretical as well as practical aspects of the uh, banquet from this topic so uh, let's start so uh, first of all i'll give you the ba basic uh, definition of the banquet okay what is the, uh, the definition of the banquet so if you want to talk the definition part so uh, banquet is basically an elaborated meal okay which is being uh, organized for the purpose of celebration to a large gathering so that is the normal uh, definition i mean if you want to talk okay so you can also say it's a sumptuous feast which is being offered to a large number of people right and uh, if we talk about a little bit historical part of the uh, banquet then this word banquet has been derived from the uh, french word which is bois okay which is basically uh, a french word and the english translation of this word is banquet uh, which was comes into existence uh, from almost uh, 16th century onward when people have realized that people uh, used to come together sit on the benches for a large gathering right so this word is basically derived from that particular french word after the 16th century these are some historical fact i mean uh, which you can keep in your mind while discuss about the banquet then uh, we have got some few facts also to make you understand the basic importance of the banquet in the hotels right so we have taken this fact from the uh, hospitality valuation services magazine okay even uh, before uh, discussion discussion about the uh, facts i'll tell you about the hospitality valuation service plus uh, what is fhri so hospitality valuation service is a consultancy firm which is new york based which is normally does the audits in the different hotels. So in India, it is collaborated with Food and Hotel Restaurant Association of India. Sorry, the Federation of Hotel and Restaurant Association of India, right? So uh, this has given us a few fact, okay, which I'll present in front of you so that you will get the understanding of the importance of banquet in the food and beverage service department. So uh, in the recent year, it's been observed that you know the revenue from the banquet, okay, I mean the revenue from the food and beverage service has significantly increased for almost six percent as compared to the room revenue, which has been declined almost seven percent, okay. And uh, another thing is that the room revenue accounts for forty percent of the total revenue in the luxury hotels, while the sixty percent revenue is coming from the other departments which includes your other minor operating department plus the food and beverage service department okay so uh, this uh, after this after all uh, on the basis of these facts it's been observed that now the latest trends have been changed the ratio of the room to food and beverage revenue changed to 
51 raised to 49 as compared to 70 raised to 30 okay so earlier it was 70 raised to 30 now it's 51 raised to 49 so that is uh, the current ratio okay that much important this banquet is in the food and beverage service department that might be the another reason that this is one of the uh, one of the department which is why this department or this outlet is given so much importance because it's also considered uh, one of the revenue generating department all right so now uh, we'll discuss about the different types of the banquet functions okay so i mean there are multiple different categories of the type types uh, categories of the banquet function but uh, the function in the banquets can be categorized into three categories one is informal banquet functions another one is semi formal banquet functions third one is formal banquet functions so all the banquet functions which are happening in the hotels comes into basic these three categories okay so one is number one is uh, informal setup or informal types of functions in which uh, you are allowed to sit you are allowed to roam you are allowed to eat as per your convenience so there is no particular protocol which you need to follow right so that is something which comes under the informal types of banquet functions then second one is semi formal types of functions in which there is a some specific uh, you know uh, protocol which needs to be followed the example which i can quote here is uh, the annual day functions or the congregation ceremonies or the honor parties uh, when uh, the parties are happening in for the honoring for some head of the state or somebody honor of the company so that is something which is comes under the semi formal events then what is the formal event so formal event is basically uh, it's a totally uh, very specific protocol needs to be followed for example uh, the victory celebration national days in honor of the foreign dignitaries okay so in that case a very uh, strict protocol needs to be followed okay uh, I mean all the state banquets comes under this formal types of banquet functions so in which uh, you will be uh, surprised to know that you know once this uh, state banquets are happening in the hotel then a specific pass passes being issued to the hotel department staff so only those people are allowed to visit or to roam around in that particular area who have been given that those passes so that much specific protocol which needs to be followed okay apart from there are multiple followers i mean uh, the testing of the food okay uh, lab testing of the food everything is being done okay even the after the uh, function get overs the hotel staff cannot leave the hotel uh, within 24 hours i mean of course this timing can be uh, depend on the different countries but in india it's like 12 hours Mac minimum you have to stay in the hotel so that is something which is very strict so that is something which comes under the formal types of banquet setup so these are the basic uh, banquet functions okay i mean all these functions comes under the different categories for example cocktail parties conferences dinner dinner with entertainment coffee break high teas receptions meeting room all these types of functions which are there in the uh, banquet or the food and beverage service department then uh, second important thing banquet is uh, one of the as i have already mentioned it, it's one of the revenue generating department who acts as a backbone of the hotel or backbone of the uh, food and beverage service department right which is uh, th th that is the reason it's considered as a big business uh, the another reason is uh, it's, it's a diverse and colorful activities engulfing different branches part of the food and beverage equipped with push secretarial offices so ultimately you can say it's a banquet sale is an art right so that is why it's it's called a revenue generation because uh, if you know that art to sell your banquet then the thing which cost you know 
uh, one thousand rupees to you you can sell if you know the art you can sell that same thing at a good rate so you can earn a good amount of revenue from that particular one uh, thing then profit margin in the banquets is almost 35 to 40 percent okay another thing is that uh, the food cost basically lies in the banquet department is around 20 25 percent okay in the normal outlet it is very high i mean as compared to the, the specialty restaurant where the food cost lies 35 to 40 percent here the food cost maximum goes 20 percent right then banquet uh, if we compare the sale of the banquet as compared to the other outlets of the food and beverage service then it's two days to one so that is the uh, ratio that is the amount of uh, revenue being generated by the banquets as compared to the another outlets of the hotel so let's discuss now what is the banquet booker cycle and how it is being done right so uh, banquet booking cycle is uh, not that uh, difficult i mean or to understand it's very simple if you uh, will get the basic uh, people who are involved in the banquet booking cycle so how does this work i'll i'll, I'll try to give you uh, or i'll try to explain you in the simple example for example you are going to the hotel okay you will approach at the reception and they will call somebody from the banquet sales department then that person will note down all the details which are being mentioned uh, on the screen so for example he will ask you the different date time of the function new details then types of the function i mean what kind of person function you are looking for then what which location you would prefer for the same and what is the menu you would prefer then all these details uh, being noted by the that banquet sales person so it can be the sales banquet sales manager banquet sales assistant manager whosoever is there he will come and he will take me take the all the details from you then after that what he'll do he'll uh, put down all the details on a piece of paper which is uh, a kind of uh, contract which is being offered to you over the mail or over the um, uh, over the physical copies of the contract which is being sent to you and after that you will see that contract you will see all the details which is being uh, give which is which was given by you to your uh, bank book sales manager and then if you agreed for that then you will sign that contract and then you will ultimately uh, give the final detail uh, of your uh, banquet function so after that banquet sales manager or the banquet sales team generate a document which is called banquet event order okay so this is some somewhere looks like this okay the banquet event order is basically a document which consists of all the information which are uh, which are relevant with that particular uh, event even all the departments requirements being also mentioned on that particular uh, document and that document is being circulated to the different outlets or different department which are associated with that particular events for example kitchen housekeeping accounts uh, engineering or it security so all those departments which are involved in the banquet functions those documents being sent to those particular de uh, department okay so it's, it's 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 kind of a document which is which acts as a communication between the different departments right so this is the uh, this is the basic understanding of the what is the meaning of this banquet event order or the function prospectus now how you do the planning of the uh, different functions in the hotel okay so as i have already mentioned that uh, banquet event order is acts as a or uh, man acts as a backbone of the entire function which is being sent to the different departments and then eventually on the basis of the uh, requirement from the different department they will act as a uh, i mean they will provide the services as as the uh, it's been uh, mentioned on the banquet event order so the banquet event order is again acts as a catalyst which uh, helps the banquet department to run the operation smoothly so that is something which is uh, why this banquet event order is so important then 
what are the different uh, factors which you need to keep in mind while you attend or while you manage the attendance at the food function so normally in the banqueting uh, functions uh, minimum guarantee and maximum expected is already uh, has already uh, been taken by the guest at the time of the booking so what is the difference between this maximum expected and minimum guarantee so basically a minimum guarantee is the number of minimum number of people which guest expect okay on the basis of which he does the booking for example if, if i i will go to the hotel and i'll uh, check my guest list then as per my checklist i will think that okay 100 guests will come for my event okay so that is called the minimum guarantee which we needs to give to the hotel but what is the maximum attendance or maximum expected so that is something which we expect like for example 10 20% more than the number of the guests for example if 100 people will come then i'll say that okay 120 guests might come so that is again something which we need to keep in our mind so <coughs> now this is hotel again uh, does the same way so he always consider that you know 50 20% margin he always be taking uh, will be taken care by the hotel so if something will happen then in the future that hotel should not uh, say at the end of the day that we will not be able to provide the food so he will always uh, take a safety margin of 15 to 20% so that means if uh, 200 people were expected to come that hotel will agrees to 5 to 10% over and set the table for 20 200 and 220 20 guests okay if the guest will not turn as per the uh, minimum guarantee then there is a attrition fees or there is a cancellation fees which different hotels charge charge as per their policies so it's always uh, it's always uh, you have to keep in mind so while you do the booking uh, there is uh, a clause in the contract which said that whenever you uh, book any of the banquet event, event if any unforeseen due to unforeseen circumstances you are not able to uh, attend that function then there is attrition fees which needs to be charged and what if your guest exceed by the number of uh, maximum uh, expected you mentioned in the at the time of booking then there is a premium which different hotels charge so normally it's like 25% of the normal rate for example if 2000 is the rate which is being Uh, decided by you and the hotel which you both the parties agreed upon now what is the premium that is 25% which means that if 2000 is the rate then if the guest will exceed 220 which is the safety margin from the hotel and from the guest side then the from the 21st guest onward the hotel will charge you 2250 rupees so that is something which again you need to keep in your mind then what is the control procedure okay so in the banquet it's very uh, easy to control the billing part again because normally the rates are already being decided at the time of booking plus again the second thing is that head counts always being uh, uh, identified by the banquet team then uh, in the few cases complimentary snacks are allowed and the rates are being offered are very high you know the la- high end parties then all the labor charges i mean all the people who you have to hire for particular event and the setup cost is being included in that particular uh, banquet rate then uh, this is the normal okay standard operating procedure which hotel needs to be followed for example one server normally takes care of the 10 6 to 8 guest and one server is there for 10 to 12 ser- server then one server is for 15 guests with the wine right so uh, you must have heard or you must have seen this word the micros so the idea of putting this word here is so that i will be able to tell you a little bit extra from the topic so micros is is a modular integrated cash register operating system right so it's a software which is used for the point of sale in the restaurant globally so anywhere in the world you will go you will find this micros card while you punch for it while you raise any of the check in the restaurant or in the banquet then beverage service 
this is one of the uh, area where we, we have to give the maximum attention the way service park so for the hotels normally uh, at the time of the functions these are the two types of bars one is host bar another one is a open bar so in the uh, most of the banquet functions the rates are already being pre-decided okay uh, but at the end of the day at the end of the event most of the time uh, it's always uh, we always consider that we have to give the count of the empty bottles as compared to the fresh bottle which are left after the event so for normally hotel keeps 25 percent extra stock of beverages in case of the informal events okay then at the end of the event uh, if there are multiple bars then uh, all the bars are marrying together so at the end of the day all the bars being diverted to the one last bar then uh, after the function gets over okay all the unopened bottles versus used bottle have to shown to the host okay who is going to pay at the end of the event because this is something which uh, most of the time you will see the disputes in the hotels if you will not give the proper head count of the bottles then if the billing is being done in the master account or any company is organizing any event so most of the time it is btc which is billed to company so we have to take the signature only uh, if it's a billing part then then and there only all the billing has to be clear now comes to the different setups which are being organized in the banquet so these are the basic setups so theater cluster hollow block boardroom u shape w shape classroom setup auditorium setup okay so these are the basic setups which are you must have seen or you will see in the hotels so i'll show you the pictures of these setups for example this is theater style setup where all the seats are facing towards the screen this is the cluster side setup where one uh, table round table is being placed in the center and all the chairs are facing towards the screen and this is boardroom setup this is again the cluster setup then this is u shape setup this is boardroom setup this is w shape setup this is the banquet setup okay these are pictures which are, have been taken by the uh, dio bry new delhi hotel okay now these are the few current trends which you will see in the uh, banquets okay or you can see the different promotions or different packages that are recently being offered by the hotels so every hotel has uh, designed their own menu portfolios live counters again are acting as a major selling tool for the selling of your banquet tea station along with the bar or you can see the empty pasty counter then sushi counter different theme counters egg dessert so all these are the trends which acts as a major uh, selling tools or upselling of your banquets okay so this is the list of the beverages which you should know that how much margin are there in the hotel beverages for example if you can see I have taken a few example of the uh, uh, few hotels of the Delhi and CR region. So, for example, if you can see uh, the Johnny Walker Blue Label, which landed cost for that hotel is uh, nine thousand one hundred seven percent, but the selling price is sixteen per sixteen thousand. So, they are selling that particular brand at the cost of fifty six percent. Okay. So, these are the I mean the hotels have been mentioned uh, of the Delhi and CR region. So this is basically uh, how much margin of these beverages, I mean how much profit the hotel is getting from the this particular uh, outlet. Okay, so this is all about the banquet. Okay, in the next class we will discuss uh, about the practical aspect of the banquet or how do the different calculation regarding the uh, different setups which are being used in the set uh, in the banquets. So till the time, thank you very much. See you soon.